from Hollywood, the NBC Theater presents... Screen Director's Assignment, Production, The Perfect Marriage, Director, Lewis Allen, Star, Loretta Young... The Hollywood Screen Directors present a comedy of wedlock in a deadlock. The Perfect Marriage, starring 1948 Academy Award winner Loretta Young, and introducing the director of the film, Lewis Allen. Tonight's guest screen director and tonight's story both first saw the light of the entertainment world upon the stage of the theater, and brilliant successes in this field brought them to the motion picture medium. Thus, the selection of our guest to make a picture from Samson Rafelson's popular play, The Perfect Marriage, was a logical one. He has created comedy all the way from London to Hollywood and has directed such fine films as The Uninvited, Our Hearts Were Young and Gay, So Evil My Love, and the soon-to-be-released Paramount picture, Chicago Deadline, starring Alan Ladd. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Lewis Allen. Thank you. Thank you. There are two schools of thought about marriage. Those who think that it can't be perfect, and those who know darn well it can't. Tonight, we're concerned with a marital comedy, uh, a story that's one of my favorites, simply because it's a barrel of fun. So here's The Perfect Marriage, starring Loretta Young in her original role of Jenny, with Robert Bailey as Dale. They say that a perfect marriage is like a perfect crime. You never quite get away with it. Well, Dale and Jenny Williams seem to be getting away with it up to now. They've been just as successful at marriage as they've been at their respective careers. His as an aeronautical engineer, hers as an editor of a woman's magazine. And today, today is their fifth wedding anniversary. A fact which bubbles through Jenny's mind as they indulge in that Native American custom known as brunch. Darling, isn't it wonderful? Absolutely. Best <laughs> coffee Rose ever made. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, us, Dale. Here we are, sitting across the breakfast table after five years. Five wonderful years. Five years of breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> 1,825 breakfasts together. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, you don't have to count them, darling. Oh, 1,826 and one half, counting leap years. Oh, where does the half come in? Our first breakfast. Oh. The eggs were half done, the toast was half burned, and the prunes were half stewed. And so were you, dear. I was not. That was sheer happiness. Oh. Dale, are you happy now? Uh, happy? Yeah. Oh, sure, I guess so. Darling, I have a wonderful idea. Let's go away together anywhere. Let's just dance and laugh and be gay, just like we used to do. Huh? Yeah, well, I'd, I'd like to, Jenny, but, uh, well, you know, the office. Oh. Yeah, we'll make it another time. I'll pass the toast, will you, please? Certainly. Dale, uh, since you're so busy, uh, you won't have any injections to uh, my going to Atlantic City for a week, will you? No, no, of course not. Well, don't you even want to know why? All right, why? Pass the butter, will you, please? <laughs> because my magazine wants me to cover a convention there. Well, that's fine, fine, that's good. You sure you don't mind? Why uh... should I mind? Well, I'm your wife, Dale. Well, what's that got to do with it? Then you don't mind. You don't even care one little bit. Well, I'll, I'll miss you, if that's what you want me to say. Yes, you'll miss me, like you did when I went to Paris last month. Well, certainly I missed you. Now, shut up and hurry your grapefruit. Oh, will you stop gnawing on that toast? Why? Because you look like a moose in molting season, that's oh. why. <laughs> Jenny, what on earth is the matter with you? Oh, Dale, let's face it, our marriage has gone flat. We've let ourselves become just, well, intimate acquaintances who share nothing but a roof. What do you mean? 
You know very well, you knew that I was going to be in Paris for weeks, and, and yet you made no effort to stop me, and now it's the same thing all over look, again. Look, look, you're a businesswoman, Jenny, with a businesswoman's responsibilities. I simply acknowledge that fact. Well, I can remember when you wouldn't have let me go on so cheerfully. Now, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, I could scream every time I think of that leer on your face when the boat pulled out. That wasn't a leer. It was a smile. Yes. Well, you were glad to see me go. Oh, for heaven's sake, And that Jenny. goodbye kiss you gave me, a bird peck. A lovebird? Mm, more like a duck-billed platypus. Oh. <laughs> duck-billed platypus. You don't even know what it looks like. Oh, yes, I do. It has a long beak. That was no platypus. That was that, that, that goop you used to date. Do you mean Gil Cummins? He's not a goop. He's a very dear friend. Well, he's a goop if I ever saw one, and I've seen one, and it's him. Will there be anything else, Mrs. Williams? A goop, I say, a goop. Oh. I'm sorry, Mr. Williams, but I think you ate the last one yesterday morning. <laughs> May I go now? My gentleman friend is waiting. Rose, I didn't even know you had one. Oh, Mrs. Williams, about the refrigerator. What's the matter with it? It keeps making a noise like H.B. Cottonborn with the hiccups. <laughs> well, uh, Mr. Williams is an engineer, Rosa. He he'll grind the valves or something. Well, if you don't mind, Mrs. Williams, the last time he tried to fix the refrigerator, the radio exploded. Well, Rosie's really very good with airplanes. Uh, yes, ma'am, I'm sure he is, ma'am, but I don't want my refrigerator flying around the kitchen. Oh. I'll fix it myself when I get time. Uh -huh. Oh, I almost forgot Miss Moore's in the living room. Shall I get rid of her? That's what I like about you, Rosa, no inhibitions. <laughs> oh, thank you, ma'am. I never did hold with drinking. <laughs> Hi, Gloria. Have you had breakfast? How was it go? Oh. Congratulations, perfect marriage. I hope I'm not intruding. You are. Dale, I love you. You're so funny. Here's a great big kiss. Hey, <laughs> wait a minute. He's not that funny. <laughs> Just to keep peace in the family, it's Jenny I came to see. Oh. How about lending me that little black hat that looks so silly on you? <laughs> yes, I know the one. Come on, I'll get it. Now, stop looking at me that way, Dale. Your favorite divorcee is tying the can to a latest boyfriend. I want to do it in style. Haven't you got a hat of your own? What's the matter with you anyway? Oh, hangover what you get for mixing gin with gin. It's not that. I dive too deep for the olive. <laughs> now, will you please go away? All right, if that's the way you feel about it. But remember... What? I don't know. I can't think of a good line. I'm going upstairs. <laughs> What's with you and Dale, darling? Do I detect a fleck of tarnish on the perfect marriage? Why, what makes you say that? Well, you both seem so upset. Do we do? Well, it, it's, it's because of Rosa. No, oh, po poisoning your food again, huh? Oh, Gloria, she's unhappy. Husband trouble. Her own or somebody else's? Oh, please, Gloria. Now, look, you're an expert on husbands. Uh, maybe you could give me some advice uh, for Rosa. Well, what are the symptoms? Well, it's just that a husband and wife discover that they... They really don't care for each other anymore. What happens then? They're P-H-T-T-T. -T -T. I don't know how to pronounce it, but that's the way you spell it. Oh. Hey, Jenny, I just wanted to tell you I'll have to run down to the office. Oh, but Dale, it's Sunday. I'm sorry, it can't be helped. My, but Rosa has certainly upset this domestic paradise. Rosa? What she got to oh, do Oh, yes, with... yes, I was just telling Gloria about the crisis in Rosa's marriage. <laughs> but she isn't... Uh, married to the right man? No, of course she isn't, dear. Oh, <laughs> Oh, no, no, of course not. <laughs> no. There's always a possibility of salvaging it. How? Well, if they're years together, I have a quality that's too precious to lose. Oh, Gloria, that's gibberish. Well, it makes pretty good sense to me, Jenny. Uh, come in. I'm leaving now, Mrs. Wiggins. Oh, Rosa, come in. I want to talk to you. Uh, run along, Rosa, and have a good time. About the refrigerator, I think I can help you with your problem. Oh. It's nothing I can fix, Miss Moore. Mm, I'm glad to see you're so optimistic. I'll just take a monkey wrench to it. <laughs> Isn't that a little drastic? Mm, it might be better to get a new one. The old one's pretty well wore out. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes, ma'am. But remember, Rosa, you only have one chance at happiness. Yes, but you ought to hear the noise it makes. Oh, sometimes I wonder if I wasn't happier when the Iceman came every day. What an odd woman. Yes. <laughs> Maybe the poor man's right. Well, I've got to run along myself. Hey, how about having dinner with Jenny and myself tonight? Oh, thanks. I'd love to. Bye-bye, Kitty. Goodbye, Gloria, and thanks for the advice. Uh, for Rose, I mean. Huh? 
Bill, I, I'm glad you decided not to go to the office. I'll show her. Oh. Not an engineer for nothing. I'll fix this refrigerator. Uh, Jenny. I know, dear, I know. We need a new refrigerator. Yeah. Well, here, move over. I want to help. Hey, now, wait a minute. You don't have to do that. No, but I want to. I... Oh! What's wrong? Oh, my back. It slipped out of place again. Oh, here. Oh. oh. Now, come here. Turn around. Oh, yeah. Take it easy now. Get all set. Yeah. You all right? Mm. Relax now. Mm. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh. How's well, that? It's better. Oh, darling. Darling, hold me close. Sure. Dale, I don't know what I'd do without you. No, neither do I. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I'm glad you came to your senses. What do you mean, dear? Well, that little spat we had this morning. Oh. You know, I'd feel like a cad leaving you alone. Oh. Yeah, women haven't the ability to cope with the world. It's, it's, it's obvious. Oh. I don't think it's that obvious. Well, of course it is. A man in his 30s has his whole life ahead of him. Yeah. But with a woman in her 30s, it's different. Dale! Yeah? Do you realize what you're saying? Well, yeah, sure I do. I'm just being honest. But... Now, how many men want a woman over 30 when they can get a young girl? Well, I know one who would. Huh? Who? Huh? Who? Gil Cummins, hey, that's who. Married women don't talk like that. Well, that's right, they don't. I'll just see what I can do about this little situation hey, right now. this is a fine time to make a phone call. I can't think of a better time. Now, wait a minute, Jenny. What do you think... Have you gone crazy? Addison, this is Jenny. Jenny Williams. Dale and I want to see you this afternoon. No, no, not for cocktails. We want a divorce. Addison, now, you're our friend as well as our lawyer, but we've come to your house on business, so please, let's keep it impersonal. But a divorce. Now, look, you two, how short can your memories be? Dale, have you forgotten the time Jenny was in the hospital and you walked the corridor for hours on end? No, no, of course not. You don't forget things like that. And Jenny, you haven't forgotten the time you you begged me to come to the airfield with you? Dale was testing an experimental plane. You told me you couldn't go on living if anything happened to him. Have you forgotten that, Jenny? Hey, Jenny, I never knew you were there that day. Addison, you promised me that you'd never tell him. Well, let's forget this talk about divorce until you're perfectly sure in your own minds. Perfectly sure. Well, I... Take her home, Dale. Straighten things out. Jenny, what do you say? Well, all right. All right, Dale, I'll try. Well, that's more like it. (laughs) Now, you kids run along home and patch this thing up. Yes, all right. Now, as you open the door, don't stumble over my wife. Mabel's probably listening at the keyhole. Why, Jenny, darling. Hello, Mabel. (laughs) And Dale, I didn't know you were here. Liar. Now, uh, say hello and run along. Well, not until I steal Jenny for five little minutes. I simply must talk to her. Oh, please, Mabel, not now. Oh, but darling, this simply can't wait. This is important. None of my business, darling, but I do want to be helpful. Now, you get a good property settlement from Dale. But I don't want anything. I'm not even sure I want a divorce. Oh, of course you want a divorce. Suppose you lose your job. Suppose Dale goes ahead and marries Gloria. She'll have everything she wants. Well, what's Gloria got to do with it? (gasps) You didn't know. Didn't know what? Uh, Well, well, uh, you see, well... (laughs) I thought that was the reason for the divorce. Oh. Naturally, I, I didn't dream. Oh, my dear, I'd be the last person on earth to tell you that... Uh, well, that what uh, is it, Mabel? Well, it, it's just that you've been blind. Blind. What have I been blind about? Well, while you were in Paris, yes. your husband and Gloria dined out every night in an obscure restaurant. <laughs> so what of it? They had dinner together. But, my dear, they skulked. They giggled. Sheila Jameson told me that one night she saw the movie. But, Jenny, will you listen to me, please? Gloria and I just had dinner together. I'm not concerned with dinner. It's what happened after dinner that bothers me. Well, you were in Paris and I was lonely. Well, not for long you were. Well, I just wanted somebody to talk to. Dale Williams, I know your little talks. I married you after one of them. (laughs) 
That'll teach me to keep my big mouth shut. And if you think I'm going to dinner with you and that, 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 that woman, well, you have another thought coming. Well, then stay home for all I care. Oh, no, I'm not going to stay home. I'm going to the Macombo. Oh, wait. Gil, come in. Jenny, it's me, Gil. Beat it. <laughs> what do you want? One side, Chubby. I've got a date with your wife. <laughs> She isn't here. Well, I'll wait. What are you doing here? This happens to be my home. Well, according to what Jenny told me over the phone a couple of hours ago, <laughs> you'll be vacating soon. So, I'll just make myself comfortable. Now, where's your bourbon? Oh, it's right over there on the... Oh, that does it. That does it. Oh, say, uh, Dale, uh, where's Jenny? I haven't seen her in years. You? Is that you? Oh, Hello, yes. Gloria. Hurry, this We've is got Dale. Years of catching up Remember that day for tonight? Well, here I well, am. Well, how would you like the oh, Mocambo? Oh, oh, no, no. Jenny won't oh, be with us. And Dale. Uh, just a minute, Gloria. What is it? If you hear somebody trying to get in before 2 o'clock. Yeah? Shoot him. It won't be me. You are listening to the Hollywood Screen Director's presentation of The Perfect Marriage, starring Loretta Young in her original role with Robert Bailey, and introducing the director of the film, Lewis Allen. Come on, Gil, let's dance. No, no, I'd rather sit here and look at you. Oh. If I say you're more beautiful than ever, you'll think I'm lying. And if I say you're not, <laughs> I will be. Oh, don't stop it, Gil. I love it. I love every word of it. <laughs> oh, I've been saving a lot of words for you, Jenny. I've been traveling the world over. Oh, what for? Collecting bird eggs. Bird's eggs? Well, sure, sure, you love it. Oh, I'm an expert, but we'll talk about that some other time. Uh, right now, I want to talk about you and me. Well, maybe we'd better talk about bird's eggs. Now, look, heartbreak gal, you are going to marry me. Oh, Gil, I don't know if I ever want to marry anybody again. I've had a long wait, Jenny. I... What's the matter, Jenny? Look who's sitting down over there. Dale and Gloria. You know, Gil, something tells me your waiting days are over. Did you know they'd be here? Uh, in a word... What word? Uh, yes. After everything you told me and you still can't bear to have Jenny out of your sight. Well, I was just kind of curious, that's all. Well, you can be curious without me. Good night. Oh, no, please, Gloria. Look, we won't stay. I I'm very sorry. It was just an impulse. I don't know why I put up with you. Because we're pals. I got news for you, kid. I won't be a pal to any man. Well, you could be more than a pal to me, Gloria. I mean that. <laughs> Well, let's get busy and see if we can make a deal. <laughs> uh oh, good lord, they're coming over here. Enter one ex friend. Oh, now, Gloria, please, don't make a scene. I won't unless she starts it. Well, Gloria. Jenny, <laughs> darling. Oh, your hat is positively stunning. My old one, isn't it? I should have returned it, dear. Uh -huh. It just matches your gown. <clears throat> Does Dale bring you here often, Gloria? No, he usually hides me away in a little saloon near the Bowery. Oh, the Bowery. Oh, well, isn't that so nice to feel at home in one's surroundings? <laughs> but don't be embarrassed, darling. I'm not, really. Huh? I know you're just unhappy over losing Dale. Shall we put up the cutlery? Good evening, Dale. Good evening. Mm -hmm. Hello, Gil. What have you been doing? Enjoying it. Uh, now, let's cut out this double talk and get down to cases. You see, uh, Jenny and I are going to get hitched as soon as she unloads you, Dale. Uh, uh, that is your name, isn't it? Uh, yes, Goop. Uh, Gil, Gil, th there's no reason to tell him now. Why not? Uh, because in your own simple language, my simple friend, I also have an announcement to make. As soon as I unhitch Jenny, Gloria and I are getting married. <coughs> Would somebody buy me a good stiff drink? No, no, better than that, let's have a party. Fine, let's go up to my hotel. I have a chair, some gin, and a bathtub. No, thanks. <laughs> I never drink gin out of bathtubs. Mm, my place is worse. Well, no furniture? No bathtub. 
Hey, wait a minute. We got a home, haven't we, Jenny? Yes, but... And besides, Gil might like to see the rest of the place. I don't like this room any better than the others. Well, you don't? No. Then we'll change them all, dear. Hmm. I think I like this love seat, though. Oh. We'll keep now it. You stay away from that love seat. Gloria and I are going to build a room around that. Come here, darling. Huh? Oh, this is the way it will always be. Oh. Sitting here in front of the fireplace, Jenny. <laughs> Wait a minute. My arms around you. You? Like this. And as you gaze up into my eyes, yes. I'll kiss you. Like this. Hey, don't hold her like that. Uh, you keep out of this. Yes, what are you getting so excited about? Well, he's trying to kiss my wife. Trying nothing, he's doing it. And it's about time I did the same to you. Yo, wait a minute. Now what's wrong? That's no way for him to kiss my wife. Why are you so worried? He'll throw her sacroiliac out of joint. <laughs> The only trouble with you is too much Jenny. What do you mean? If you can worry about her sacroiliac while I'm kissing you, it's time for little Gloria to bow out. Oh, no, wait a minute, Gloria. Wait a minute. Don't go. <laughs> Love is quarrel. No. Oh. Just a change in plans, that's all. Oh, well, in case you're interested, I haven't changed mine. For your information, <laughs> I am not interested. Oh, I see. Furthermore, I am going to bed. Oh, not in this house, In not... this house. In I... the study. Oh. Good night. Jenny, darling. Yes, Gil? Uh, before we go ahead with plans for our future, yes. there's something that you ought to know. Go on, Gil. Well, once when I was collecting bird eggs, yes. it was in Sheboygan, I was walking down the street and I met a certain little... Jenny! Uh, yes? Where are my pajamas? In the kitchen. Uh, pardon me, Gil, while I get... <laughs> oh, great little housekeeper, Jenny. Keeps my pajamas in the oven. That is a snide remark. So I'm snide. Why don't you go home? Hmm, why don't you get someone to bounce me? I wouldn't need any help. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, here, catch. Thank you. Good night. I don't see how you put up with him for five years. Uh, now, what were you saying, Gil, when he so rudely interrupted you? Uh, oh, 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 yes. Uh, once when I was collecting bird eggs... It uh, was in Sheboygan. Yes. I was walking down the street, and I met a certain little... Hey, Jenny. Well, oh, uh, now what? Where are my vitamin in pills? In the medicine chest, where they've always been. They are not, and I'm not going to bed without them. Oh, excuse me, Gil. I'll get them. No, let him get them. Now, look, just because we're getting a divorce, there's no reason why you should die very, very. <laughs> oh, vitamin pills. Ha! <laughs> well, it's just a hobby. <laughs> After you take your vitamins, I'll take you on for a few rounds of polite boxing. You know, that'll be a pleasure I've long looked forward to. Here, catch. Thank you, Jenny. You're welcome, Dale. Don't forget to wear your stocking cap. Good night. I'm awfully sorry, Gil. Now, what were you saying? Oh, oh, well, uh, yeah. oh, it was just this. You see, once when I was collecting bird eggs... It was uh, in Sheboygan. Uh, yeah. Uh, I was walking down the street yes. when I met a certain little... Certain... Oh. oh, good Lord, what is that? Dale! What are you doing? Fixing the refrigerator. Well, uh, do you have to do it right now? I certainly do. Oh. Darling, this time I'm going to skip the preliminaries and take you in my arms. Oh, Gil. Oh, just a moment, old man, just a moment. If you're going to kiss my wife, the least you can do is let me show you how to protect a sacroiliac. Nobody asked you. One side, chubby. Now, see here. Now, just watch closely. Yes? You put one arm around her like this. Yes? Let go of me, dear Williams. And the other arm around her like this. Oh. Gil, I don't like the look in his eye. And then you pull her towards you like this. <gasps> oh! oh! Darling, darling, what oh, is Oh, my back! He's wrenched my back! Well... Good night, everybody. Oh! Dale! Dale, you did that on purpose. You can't leave now. Now, now, now don't worry. Oh. All you need is a rubdown. I used to have a horse had the same trouble. Oh, this is terrible. Now, 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 just brace yourself now. Here we go. Yes. What's wrong? Oh. Gail, you've made it worse. Oh, oh. Well, I'll try it again. Oh, no, no, no. Shall I call a doctor? No. 
No, you better call Dale. Oh, that pain in the neck. What about the pain in my back? <laughs> Dale! No. Please? No. Please, Dale! Oh, well, I can't work with that goop leering over my well, shoulder. Perhaps you'd better go, Gil. Well, I can't leave him alone with my fiance. Who happens to be my wife? Oh, don't argue, Gil. Just do as he says, please. Well, I'll be right outside the door in case he lays a hand on you. Yes. Now, lie down on your stomach. Yes. That's it. And stop squirming. Okay, now, take it easy and just relax. Are you all set? My back hurts. You sure you're ready? Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh! That help? Yes. Feel better? Yes. Yes, darling. Yes, what? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. Oh, (laughs) Jenny, darling. Uh, What did you say? Darling. And I meant to say it. Oh, Dale. Dale, why didn't you tell me about Gloria? Well, there was nothing to tell, darling. You see, but... Oh, wait a minute. What about Gil? Oh, him, him. (laughs) What are you doing? I'm locking the door. Hey. Who locked that door? I did. Good night. Good night, Gil. (laughs) Gil, my husband said good night. Well, before I go, uh, there's a question I want to ask you, Williams. What do you want, Gil? Uh, Gloria's phone number. (laughs) Hey, hey, answer me. He can't. He's busy. See him in the morning. Happy anniversary, darling. Happy anniversary, darling. In just a moment, our stars will return. Next week, to suit your spring entertainment tastes, the NBC Theater presents another recipe for laughter, the lilting comedy, Suddenly It's Spring, starring Fred McMurray. And now, here is tonight's star, Loretta Young and screen director, Lewis Allen. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, let me warn you, don't be taken in by Lewis Allen's soft, quiet words. He's actually a tyrant. Me a tyrant? Yes. Why, Loretta, when we made the picture, I didn't strike you once. Well, now, that's the trouble, you see. You're insidious. You did something worse. What's that? You cut my lines. Tell you what I'll do. Hmm? You take those line cuts and speak them right now. Oh, really, Lou? On the level? Sure, go ahead. All right. Let me see now. Pass the butter. Ooh, my arm itches. Behind the door? Huh? I don't like your attitude. How do you do? But not tonight. Magnificent. (laughs) Sheer poetry. (laughs) Well, seriously, Lou, before we say goodnight, I'd like to say thanks to you and to the rest of the men behind the camera. We actors portray our parts, but it's you screen directors who make the picture. It's awfully nice of you, Loretta. Thank you, Lou. Good night. Good night. Good night, everyone. And good night to you, Loretta Young, Robert Bailey, and Louis (laughs) Allen. The Perfect Marriage, a Hal Wallace production, was presented through the courtesy of Paramount Pictures, currently releasing Alias Nick Beale, directed by John Farrell, and starring Ray Milland, Audrey Totter, and Thomas Mitchell. Loretta Young is currently being seen in The Accused, a Hal Wallace production for Paramount. Included in tonight's cast were Dorothy Thompson, Leif Erickson, Ruth Perrett, Barton Yarborough, Gail Bonney, and Dan Riss. The Perfect Marriage was adapted for radio by Richard Allen Simmons, and original music was composed and conducted by Dr. Albert Harris. Production was under the supervision of Howard Wiley, associate producer Bill Karn. Your announcer has been Frank Barton. Listen again next week when the NBC Theater presents... Screen Director's Assignment. Production, Suddenly at Spring. Director, Mitchell Lyson. Star, Fred McMurray. <laughs> The NBC Theater came to you from Hollywood. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.